the new Allens have completely lost their something Germanic flavor and can now bring a full roster of uh, Sarmatian and mostly Sarmatian and Alani units. So it starts with the Alani Noble, a medium shock cav gen. Uh, he's, he's fairly fragile, doesn't have the highest health, <coughs> not the highest amount of armor, but he's a decent shock cav unit. But with a 160 charge bonus, not that great. But if you want to save funds, uh, you can see that the theme of the cost effective balance starts already with the general. You're getting a very cheap cavalry general for 450. So late game, he can be a dangerous character. You know the Alani Cavalry uh, General from before, this guy is medium, this guy is heavy, and also significantly more health. Now with the melee infantry, things start becoming interesting, because you have the extremely cheap Sarmatian Band. 50% missile block chance, 45 armor, uh, the charge bonus is atrocious, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, this unit is there for one purpose and one purpose only, dying so that the rest of your army can can uh, get to the enemy unmolested. So the Sarmatian Band, I really like having a front line of Sarmatian Band. They can push back skirmishers, they can join cab fights, just a very versatile unit that they are hardly worth charging into. And if people do that, then of course you kill them with your Agathersai. And then we have the Elani Swordsmen and the Elani Warriors. Now, doing extensive testing uh, of these two units, uh, it really there's really no contest between them. Uh, if you have the Elani Warriors lose hard to the same units that the Elani Swords beat, and of course with a 44 charge bonus, it's quite apparent why. Now, the Elani Warriors have a 50% missile block chance, whereas the Elani Swords only have a 25% missile block chance. But they do have rapid advance, they are resistant to fatigue, so I find the combination Sarmatian Band and Elani Swords to be quite fun. Uh, the Sarmatian War Band, still a good unit. They do lack Shield Wall, which is a bit of a problem for a tanky unit, but they, they do have a very high charge bonus, and perhaps, uh, more importantly, they do come with Precursor, so very nice for dealing with enemy cav. You know and you love the Agathorsai and the Elite Agathorsai, with their 87 charge bonus and precursors and head um, headhunt making them unbreakable for 30 seconds these guys can really turn the tide of battle then we get to the cavalry we have the elani cavalry warriors again very cheap um medium melee cavalry with a 30 bonus versus this is this is really for the price an excellent excellent unit now they cannot take enemy cavalry head-on due to their low health, but they are th they're a good supporting unit. Uh, the Elani horse become kind of questionable uh, when you have the much cheaper Elani cavalry warriors. The Elani mounted tribesmen uh, have a zero charge bonus, and so do the Elani mounted veterans. Uh, they do have the flying wedge, which gives them a 30 bonus against cavalry, and less speed and 100 percent missile block chance i would never ever bring these guys the elani mounted tribesmen and the elani mounted veterans lacking a charge bonus completely is going to penalize them against melee cav it's going to penalize them against infantry and they just don't perform when they lack that charge bonus and if you want them to perform well against enemy cavalry they're going to do so at minus 25% speed, so now you have a medium cavalry unit running around very slowly and just asking to get showered by missiles because it has a minus 100% missile block chance. So imagine if you get hit by slingshot and you're already at minus 25% speed. This is perhaps the, light, the, the easiest cavalry unit in the game to bait. Tai Feili cavalry, uh, nothing new there. Noble Alani Cavalry, nothing new there. They are not that unique anymore because there are so many other units in the game that have a 30 bonus versus large, and uh, the Noble Alani will lose to to uh, Aldauster Cavalry and the Hephthalite Melee Cavalry of the White Hunts. Elite Agathrosai, just don't even think about it, and perhaps the worst cavalry unit in the game in terms of cost efficiency. Alani heavy cataphract, very heavy melee, melee cavalry. 
They have a lot of armor. Their health val value is decent, not great for the price. 45 speed, they have a bunch of abilities, and courage, and scare, and blah blah blah. But, and a charge bonus of 8. Uh, there, it would seem like there should at least be a 0 at the end of that 8. So, yeah, sure, they will kill enemy infantry relatively quickly, but they will die horribly to melee cavalry and shock cavalry. Then we have Summation Shock Cav, again, very cheap, a uh, bit of armor, very similar to Germanic Lancers, but a, a fairly low charge bonus. Summation Cataphracts, very good, very tanky Shock Cavalry. I prefer these guys as my mainline Shock Cavalry. Elite Summation Cataphracts, Summation Heavy Cav, uh, only being medium by the way, CA please. And then Sarmatian Cataphract Lancers. Basically, Sarmatian Cataphracts are where the Allens stop being cost-effective, in my opinion. The uh, Sarmatian Cataphract Lancers and the Sarmatian Heavy Cavalry are just... Although they have a bit of armor, they have a decent charge bonus, a bit of health, they're just too expensive, in, in my opinion. And the Sarmatian Heavy Cav, only 45 uh, morale for a unit, this expensive, not worth it. Bow Cav, Alani Mounted Bows. A decent horse skirmish unit, again, quite cost effective, part in shot, everything you need to have a, uh, everything you need to have an effective uh, horse skirmish unit. Alani horse archers, main difference between these two units being that the Alani horse archers do not have, um, they do, they do have rapid advance, but they do not have resistance to fatigue, and they do not have part in shot, so that makes them kind of useless. Uh, the grey hairs, do not have Parthian Shot, makes them kind of useless. And the Cataphract Archers, do not have Parthian Shot, makes them kind of useless. Now for Skirmish Cav, we have Cavalry Raiders, Sword Skirmish Cav, with very little armor, but what you get for the price is quite insane. Uh, 100 missile damage, 30 bonus versus large, Parthian Shot, 100 speed, all that good stuff. When they've used the, all of their ammunition, they can do a lot of damage to enemy skirmishers or infantry charging into the rear. Not because they have a, a huge charge bonus, but having a sword helps them a lot. Uh, then we have the Sarmatian Mounted Skirmishers. They only have a 15 bonus versus large, but they have more ammunition. They also have Precision Shot, which is uh, interesting. Microed well, these guys can do an obscene amount of damage. Mounted Sword Raiders. Now you're getting even more uh, more uh, ammunition. They also have a few stealthy abilities. Uh, the standard shot that does 15 damage. And then we get to the big boys, the Elani Chosen Raiders. Medium skirmish cav. 30 bonus versus large. 12 ammunition. Parthian shot. Very expensive. Uh, not as multi-purpose as, for example, the Guardian Cavalry. But still, uh, it, when melee cavalry is limited, a unit like this becomes very viable. So, where do the new Allens fit in now? Well, I'd say that the new Allens fit in as the one of the most cost-effective factions. Notice, they do not have any foot skirmishers. But what they can bring in terms of, let's say you can only bring max 4 of the same unit type, because those are the rules you decided to play under with whoever you play, you're playing against. So with that type of rule setup, and let's say that uh, you have a max uh, max 5 cavalry general included. Uh, so, some Asian cataphracts. Uh, now, you can see the sort of the... the um, almost the issue that you get with the Allens. You have a lot of cheap stuff. So, you might not even need to go with the, with the very cheapest of units. Uh, let's say that you have a, f a max 4 skirmish cav or something like that. Well, in that case... You can either go super duper cheap, uh, Cavalry Raiders, two Cavalry Raiders, for example, or even four Cavalry Raiders, to combat enemy cavalry. And you have an obscene amount of funds left. So, I mean, you could bring more, uh, you can, let's see here. Uh, you can bring, upgrade some, uh, your Cavalry Raiders and bring some Alani Chosen Raiders instead. Uh, you can bring even more Agathasai warriors, but th the problem, you can of course upgrade your general from the Elani general to the... Oh, now it glitches out. Oh well. Uh, let's just try to clear the roster and 
do that again. Let's see. Oh, I had it on ultra funds. Well, that explains it. So yeah, uh, let's see. You're going to have want four elite to Gothar uh, quite a lot of the time. Four. Let's see. Four summation cataphracts. And now, of course, you don't have as many funds. It's early in the morning here, so I'm a bit. I should have noticed something was off when I could, when I had that many funds remaining. So yeah, this is more like it. This is more like it. Uh, let's see here, and then you're going to have four. Four. Ca yeah, this is definitely more like it. Uh, cavalry raiders. A four might be a bit overkill as well, but just. Just to illustrate an army that can be fun to play with and have some decent capabilities. So yeah, it's fairly obvious how this this army works. The cavalry raiders will go and harass any and all enemy cavalry. Uh, the Sarmatian cataphracts stop enemy cavalry, do a fair bit of damage to them. You have six good shock infantry units. You have five infantry units for pushing and for eating charges, for stopping precursors from hitting your elite Agathrosai. And this makes the Alans very, very hard to beat. Because the only thing that they lack in they they basically just lack the they basically just lack the um, foot skirmishers, the slingers and the archers. Which could be a problem, but when you have so many units that you can just send out the enemy, and you have units to spare, it becomes very hard to skirmish down the, the Alans. So some of the new units are useless. The uh, Alani Mounted Tribesmen, useless. Alani Mounted Veterans, useless. Alani Heavy Cataphracts, useless. Sarmatian Cataphract Lancers, useless. And the reason why I'm saying that these guys are useless is, of course, I've done some tests, and I'm going to show you those tests. But in terms of cost efficiency, the top of the line in terms of cost efficiency uh, is these Sarmatian cataphracts for the Alans. Extremely, extremely cost effective. And as you know, cost efficiency wins battles. If you can bring a unit that costs... Let's just consider this. So, a Sarmatian cataphract lancer costs 1200. For the same price, you can get two Sarmatian cataphracts. Two units give you more health, gives you more health, gives you a higher damage potential, gives you more tactical flexibility. Basically, just gives you a better, a better chance at winning the battle. So, if you were to, for example, really mess up, you had a four cav max, and you bring four. Okay, I'm going to bring four elite shock cav, and then I'm of course going to bring the four elite Agathrosai warriors. And I'm going to bring the elite Alani Chosen Raiders. Uh, yeah, this army could be close to the worst Alani army you could bring. But if you just go with the cost efficient units, in that case, well, now you're getting a lot more funds to swing around with and to have fun with. And yeah, do just experimenting like this, the Alans can come up with some pretty dangerous and uh, interesting armies. So the Alans, the new Alans, are an improvement over the old Alans in... Um, their main cost-effective cavalry units are still their main cost-effective cavalry units. So the Noble Elani is still good, got the Elani Cavalry Warriors, the Sarmatian Cataphracts are still good, their main effective infantry is still their main effective infantry, they lost the foot skirmishers, but they got some very nice, um, very nice cavalry skirmishers. They got some horse archers, and now they don't feel like just another Germanic faction. So I will be uploading a few battles with the Alans. I've played quite a few, and I find them to be an enjoyable and a very powerful faction now. Strength and order.